And now I guess we just head right up to... Uh, do I talk to you about something? Romeo was behind all of this? If that's true, everything makes sense. My blood was one of the things that were used to seal Baal and was necessary to awaken it. That book, the Byblos, it was not important. Only the blood that my sister used to write the prophecy as a proxy of my own. But why? I know him. I watched him as he grew up. I can't believe it yet. I need to talk with Romeo. I guess both of us need answers. Go to him. But... I, you mean someone in this story is going to betray me? I never see it coming, because I am so naive for a fucking immortal being that's been stuck here for thousands of years. Fucking no problem. What do you mean? Romeo's evil? Ergo's evil? You mean to tell me that everyone is evil? I never saw- I never thought anyone was evil. I thought we were gonna fight a fucking wall or something. I just, how does she never suspect anybody? She always- like, she falls for it. It's like the, the frequency at which she falls for everything is crazy. But also, is it a Biblos or is it a Biblos? Because two characters just pronounced it differently. Also, that guy called it Ergo, and we've been calling him Ergo. So the voice actors don't even know how to pronounce things in the game, so that's a good sign too. You can tell that I'm really in a good mood now. <laughs> After <laughs> that was the breaking point for me. The uh, that goddamn that monster mask broke the hood. That broke any last modicon on patience, which was straining since World Two. Like I got up all the way through World Two. I got to that boss when I had to fight the messenger, and he took 500 billion hits to kill. And I'm like, oh man, you're gonna strain my patience game. And I was I was very th I thought about stopping there, but that that monster fight broke me, and now. I am in full bullsh- I'm just in the mode now where everything sucks and I'm just gonna- This is how I used to play games on sad games. Me and Andrew would just shit on games that we thought were bad and this is definitely qualifying right now. Ah, let's fucking stab this guy till he stops moving. What are you doing here, Bearer of Calamities? You know your orders. My lord, I know what this tower is. I know you and Lady summoned this place using the blood of Grimoire and trapped us within. Have you never seen Game of Thrones? If it's spelled Milord, then it's pronounced Milord, M I L O R D. And my lord is two words, Milord is an abbreviation of the two. If you spell it as the abbreviation, you pronounce it as the abbreviation. Otherwise, if you say my lord, you spell it my lord. They're two different things. Huh. Impressive. I would ask how you were able to discover this, but I suppose such a question is irrelevant. Are you going to have to take your exit? Ha 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 your name's dumb. You don't deny it? Why should I? I don't have anything that I should be ashamed of. Besides, you already know everything, don't you? I know many things, yes. But there's one thing I don't know yet. Something that I really need to ask you. Why? It was for the world. It always was. Gaia is on the brink of war, a fratricidal confrontation that we won't be able to stop. All our attempts to reach a peaceful resolution have failed. We called ourselves guardians and protectors of humanity for so long, and now we can't do anything. Millions will die. It's so ironic that sometimes it makes me want to cry, but I understood. Humanity needs something that unites all of us, an enemy that makes everyone, regardless of their nationality, race, or creed, stand together towards a common goal, a real monster. But it couldn't be just anyone. It had to be a dreadful monster, an unlimited and unstoppable creature that would make darkness itself rise with him. However, we couldn't simply release something like that in the world. We needed the ability to control it, limit the destruction that it could cause. An unstoppable monster that we could stop. And there you were, Ergo. I gathered those who shared my vision. I explained what we should do, and they decided to follow me of their own accord. I didn't include you, dear child because I feared that your faith in humanity could
tarnish your perspective, and if you refused, Ergo would know our intentions, and everything we were building would collapse. But the calamity, limited by the seal system created by Ali and I, could not yet serve our plans. Everything was orchestrated behind Nathaniel, using the myth of Harel Grimoire's prophecy to hide our intentions. I chose Lady to be your successor, the last bearer of calamities, something she was delighted to do if she could free you from the weight of Ergo's curse. The Byblos, written with the blood of Ali and I's sister, was all we needed to invoke Arcane and partially awaken what was slumbering inside. In the past, this place was used to seal the greatest evil, one that surpassed all others. Even you, Ergo, are nothing more than a fragmented shadow which emerged after its fall. Bale, the Gate of Hell, an entity born from the darkness that is hidden in the core of humanity and nourished by the essence of dead gods. In the past, it tried to manifest in the world and was about to engulf everything. The cost was higher than anyone would have thought, but finally, diminished and weakened, Bale was sealed forever. It is arcane. All that you have found in your path are but shadows of those it has touched, scattered fragments of its power that you had to claim, so that you could recover all your strength, breaking Aleonai's seals and replacing them with stronger and easier to handle chains. That's what you've been doing, absorbing fragments of Bale's power to become the ultimate monster, our monster. Unfortunately, there have been complications. Somehow, one of the real messengers discovered our plan and came to stop us, and even Ali and I herself was invoked by our ritual and became an impediment. But in the end, all is ready. Now you know everything. What has begun can't be stopped. You need to finish the ritual and therefore create hope for humanity. If you don't listen to me, the whole world will descend into a war you cannot even dream. And all that pain, death, and destruction will lead to the return of Bale. Now leave this room, climb to the top of the tower, and do what you know you should do. So he barely moves, but you couldn't put his floating sword somewhere that doesn't like clip through his armor and his pauldrons? It's floating. It's literally floating because it moves independently of his character model, so you think you can just put him wherever you want. Oh well. So, this is your choice then. I am sorry. You will be a necessary sacrifice. One of many. Lady, take the book and complete the ritual. Yes, my lord. Hello, little girl. Did you miss me? Lady... I'm sorry, child. I really am sorry. I truly try to spare you from this. But sometimes, fate can make us do things that we don't want to do. I'm glad that you're alive. You shouldn't be. I have all the power that the Biblos has absorbed from Ergo. I am far more powerful than you now. I'm the bearer of calamities. You're still a terrible, terrible voice. Oh my god, you take damage fast. That's a bit of a surprise. Oh. Her, her attack timing is a little... Oh right, it's the first boss fight. We haven't seen her for a while. Uh, yeah, I actually... I'm not... I'm, rec I'm recalling the fact that she's the first fight, but I don't remember much about her moves to help me avoid them. Ow. Pain. She's definitely very weak. I'm much more powerful than you now. Cue the, the easiest boss fight in the entire game. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call bullshit on that, frankly. Look how easy I am with how easily I am dispatched. Wow, that was comical. Enough of this. I should have known that you couldn't win against the Calamity. No, my lord, I... I said enough. 
I'll take care of it from now on. Be prepared. Here he comes. I am the word. I am the savior. My hand will bring the salvation. And those who stand against me stand against the world. Holy shit, stop Romeo talking. Works. You're so the annoying. Inquisitor will face we you. get it, you're really full of yourself. You, the fate of the world lies in my hands. I am the almighty, and I'm going to save everyone. I know what's best for humanity. Supervillain speech, supervillain speech, supervillain speech, supervillain speech, supervillain speech, supervillain speech. Jesus. He's gonna keep he's gonna start talking again during the boss fight, too. Won't that be great? He'll have more shitty lines in the middle of the fight when I hit, like, 30% health or something. You don't understand. You're dooming all of us. We need a common foe. Ozymandias from Watchmen. Ozymandias from Watchmen. Ozymandias from Watchmen. Watchmen, Watchmen. I read the Watchmen too. Wasn't that great? Blue penis, blue penis. There was a blue penis. Now oh, the red lady is attacking me still. She's flying up in the sky being awful and stuff. Here's a risk you have if you have a... A so what seems like a secret boss that's tougher than everything else in the game. It makes all the actual bosses seem kind of dumb. <laughs> Just stop living. You're almost there. Just a little longer. Just give up. It's okay. You don't need to live anyway. Oh. We're almost there. Yep. Oh. Die. Die, you fucking bullet sponge. Jesus Christ. You li you live forever. Why do you live forever? Why- Oh, oh, okay, that was a longer attack. Watch out for that. He's like kind of blocking sometimes, but mostly not really, so it's not that big of a deal. Ah, crap. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. Oh! Hello? Surprise bullets. Ow! Jesus Christ! You can't dodge through those? What the fuck? I couldn't dodge those. They move faster than you and you can't... You can't invincibility frame dodge through them. Do I just have to get really close to them, I guess? Oh, wow. I'm like inside of one of them and it wasn't hurting me. That was also really weird. Oh well. I'll just beat him until he stops moving. That'll make me feel better. Ah. They have a lot of homing attacks and things that chase you and come out of the ground over and over again. I think I've seen 20 variations of the thing coming out of the ground wherever I stand attack. Probably because it's super easy to program. Uh, just, just make the attack happen on the player. Just from nowhere. It doesn't come from, from anywhere. Doesn't like fly across the room, doesn't have to have a warm up, just boom, other feet explode. That's a cool attack design. We'll have to use that 20 more times. Isn't that fun? Ow. I'm back. To, look, look, it's Ergo. He, he's useless. Look how useless he is. Alright, so he's in an invincible mode now for some reason. So we get to figure out why that is, I guess. Yep, I can't hurt him. Let's get out of being Ergo because he dies too quickly and doesn't deal damage. Alright, so I guess I can't hurt you now? What's going on here? What's your gimmick this time? What's your gimmick? Ow. Pain is mine. I can't hurt you during that either now? Oh, come on. You're doing this now? When, the, when this game can't think of any other ways to be hard, it just has boss fights that are invincible for no reason. Those are fun. Fun gameplay for fun people. Woo. Isn't it exciting how you can't hurt me? Isn't this great? And there's no apparent thing to do, so that's cool. Ow, shit, shit, shit. What the fuck? That attack's bullshit. The way that you just bounce off of them infinitely? Like, that's so much bonus damage for free that the game doesn't even have to earn. What the fuck, man? Why is he invincible? Seriously, how am I supposed to know what to do? He's just invincible. What do I do about that? 
At least the last last time somebody was invincible, it would, he would he'd become vulnerable after every attack. This guy just seems to be infinitely invincible. What the f- Jesus Christ, this attack's bullshit! This attack is literally bullshit. Example 75 of how fucking awful this game is. You get hit by one beam. By the way, you can't see shit because they're all overlapping, like, color. There's no def definition to it, and the camera angle means you can't see anything. Oh, I locked onto her now. What? I was repeatedly messing with the joystick trying to lock onto this lady, and it wouldn't let me do it. So I didn't think she was a target. Fine, let's go kill her now. Exciting gameplay. Woo. But, like, that attack's genuinely bullshit. You can't see shit because of the low ang the low camera angle. And then if you even bump into one of them, you bounce off of all of them over and over again, and then it, it hits you out at the outer radius, where you're now going too slow to run out pace the fire anymore, because it, the further you are, the faster you have to run. So after you hit one, it hits you to the back wall of the entire arena, which means that you're now doomed to get hit by the next, like, four of them. So, fuck you, basically? At that point? <laughs> Just die. Just die. Just die. I'm so done with you. Just die. Yay, I'm running. You should do that attack 17 more times. It'll be even more exciting then. My favorite part of the fights in this game is how they last the, my entire life. Seriously. You, you've actually been watching a gen like several generations of people play this game. The original player is long since dead. Because all these boss fights take 500 years. I actually started playing this in the medieval ages. Oh, come on. Just die. There we go. No! Impossible! I cannot fall! It's if so do, fucking possible. I'm it's incredibly rage. possible. My lord. No. Romeo. I may just be a child, but I believe that salvation can't be born from lies. It can't be forced that way. If even a monster, as you call Ergo, is able to change, People can, too. We need to believe in them and fight for that. Foolish child. It is already too late. If you don't go up and complete the ritual, it will awaken. In the depths of Arcane, under this place, the door of Baal will open. Everything will end. You still don't understand, then. There is always hope. Goodbye. This is the end. 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 Alright, well, let's go kill Bale now. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Watch that fucking monster mask boss be tougher than Bale. Like, just to emphasize how dumb that fight was, the ultimate demon that everything was trying to seal is probably going to be easier to kill than monster mask, which is just some asshole in a cell. That is literally like a shadow copy of Ergo, even though we fought like five different copies of Ergo at this point, because like they just keep reusing that concept over and over again. But that particular one was the super. <sighs> was a super powerful one. Fuck that area. That general uh, just fuck that room. That whole room explodes. All right. Well, probably gonna go fight Bale now, which means we're probably done with this game. So goodbye to this room and that room and every other room. Do you suddenly have something relevant to say? What could Romeo be thinking? He doesn't understand what he's done. I can feel it. Somewhere, in the foundation of this tower, it has begun to manifest. The ritual that Romeo was talking about. Could we use it to stop Ball? No. He's wrong. You can't hope that such a thing would be enough to suppress the Gate of Memories. I'm afraid that it's already too late. Even if you tried to make Ergo take more of Baal's power, that would only delay the inevitable. He will awaken sooner or later. Can you open a way there? To the foundations of Arcane? Where yes. Are you two really going to face it? That thing? It has many names, for a monstrosity that never should have had one. When he appeared for the first time, I named him Baal, which means the Master. It is a door, a living gate to a hell beyond our understanding, a shadow made of the pain, the suffering, 
and the hate of everything that exists. A gate to our darkest memories. It's not a god. It's the thing that even gods fear. You mean that he's more powerful than me? Yes, Ergo, it is. You can't stop it. Even if it has not manifested in the world yet, even if it is just a mindless fragment of its true self, you can't stop it. Neither can I. Soon its gate will open, and with that, it will be the end of everything. Let's go, baby. What are you going to do? You should know, Lady Ellie and I. He really loves to do things that others say are impossible for him. Lady Ellie and I, aren't you going to chastise me? It doesn't matter anymore. They can't win. The door can't be closed. I have destroyed the very world that I wanted to save. <laughs> you know, Romeo, I have looked into the heart of darkness, and there was only hope.